Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as the Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so, that, so, mo so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God so not, did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus, knowing, of course, the uh, Torah, and the story from the book of Numbers that we had proclaimed first, the people sinning in the desert and God sending a serpent, serpents in their midst. Uh, and as they were bitten, they died. Um, and Moses appealed on behalf of the people and God told Moses to, to uh, create a staff and put on the staff a, a serpent. It's actually what's being used by the medical profession even today. Uh, it is a symbol of healing now instead of a symbol of death. And he draws the same uh, comparison to himself. And he says, unless the Son of Man is lifted up on the cross, there will be no salvation. But if the Son of Man is lifted up on the cross, all who gaze upon him will not perish, but will have eternal life. Given all the stuff that's happening right now, we gaze at the cross. It's a time for the exaltation of the cross and to allow salvation and eternal life to touch our lives. 